For me, I started out wanting to write orchestral music because I wanted to hear it with you. Know, I wanted to hear it. And, uh, you know, I've had a, a lovely career in music, but we don't always have the ability to use orchestras on all the, all the programs and all the TV shows and all the you know, whatever I've, I've had the pleasure of working on. But the live performance of a score in front of an audience is a magical experience. It, it just, that, for me, it was just such a thrill to be there in the room and hear it and, and have all these people just absorb it and have a collective unconscious of all these, uh, all these minds processing it at once and a hundred plus people on the stage. Uh, how can it not be thrilling? I mean, that's why I originally got into the music business and why I originally started writing music was so that I could have experiences like that. And last night was a big one. So the lecture I gave today uh, was kind of a scaled down version of, of some longer lectures that I give. Uh, and I focused mainly on a particular concept, which is how every note that you write as a composer and every phrase that you assemble with every other phrase as a composer is an educational experience for the audience. That the audience with each, with hearing each phrase as it goes together, learns how they should listen to and how they should interpret every phrase that follows it. So I used a specific piece of music that I constructed uh, and showed how each phrase had a, uh, a balance of novelty and familiarity so that we could take the audience on a journey and teach them that progression from beginning to end. And so that's what I was trying to impart on all the students, that as they write their own music, they need to have that in the back of their mind, the journey that you're taking your audience on, the educational process for the audience. For me, the best education I ever got for being and doing what I'm doing was the study of both composers, their careers, and learning how they learned, how they got their first job, how they made their first uh, a relationship with a director or producer, that's all part of what allowed me to have a career, is that study of other composers' careers. Now I always say you can't put your foot in the same river twice. The career of Alan Silvestri was his career. The career of John Williams was his career. But if I know the journey that they were on and the journey that they took, I try to walk back in their footsteps to get to the point that's right in front of where I am right now and say, and that's what I've always done. I've always said, okay, John Williams or Alan Silvestri, they would have written the music for the student show. So I'm going to write the music for my student show. They would have been the guy who was playing in all the jazz clubs or was doing this or was doing that. So it's like, okay, so I'm going to be the guy who's going to write for this ensemble. I'm going to be the guy who's going to uh, orchestrate that piece for the school choir. I'm going to be that guy because those are the ones who that's what, Al, that's what all the great composers would have been doing at that age. And so by following their careers and being a student of their careers, it kind of elucidates the path for yourself of where you might want to go. Oh, you have to. You have to. You have to. If you haven't experienced a film music concert, you really haven't experienced a great film music concert yet. I mean, last night was, the only way you can describe it is epic. Epic in length, epic in size, epic in scope. Uh, the music itself with uh, everything from Willow to Conan the Barbarian. Uh, for me, the, the getting those scores, I mean, I would have never thought of the score from Conan the Barbarian in, as a piece that would be performed. But then once you actually hear it, it's like, whoa, that is a magnificent, magnificent score. Uh, uh, the movie, you know, it's Arnold. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think he has five words in the entire movie. Then you realize the entire dialogue of the movie is the score. That is the movie. And it's just, it was a, a, interesting. So if you haven't experienced it yet, you need to. You need to come, come to Tenerife and, and enjoy this magnificent adventure. <laughs>